Greetings, friends of the American Society for the History of Rhetoric. My name is Carly Woods, and I am an Associate Professor of Communication at the University of Maryland, uh, and I am also a longtime Asher member and a big fan. Um, so I was excited to receive the invitation to, to say a few words on the power of archives. Um, I've relied a lot on archival research. Um, I love uh, teaching about archival research. Uh, Archival research is really a collaborative process. It relies upon uh, the labor of uh, activists, scholars, archivists, people that are in conversation over years. Um, I, my first book on the history of women's debating societies in the 19th and 20th century really benefited from archival research trips, as well as accessing transcribed and digitized materials. One of the debaters that I studied for the book is Lucy Stanton Day Sessions. She enrolled at Oberlin in 1846. She was an active participant in the Ladies Literary Society, or the LLS, and she even was elected to the role of president in 1850. Lucy Stanton Day Sessions went on to be an author, a teacher, a fierce advocate for temperance and abolition. I was able to learn a little bit about her because other people had taken the time to transcribe some of her correspondence and write about her. When I was able to take an archival research trip to Oberlin myself, um, I learned even more as I accessed uh, alumni surveys that she had sent back over the years. So it was really amazing to trace these key moments in her life through these surveys. It was there that I learned that she knew that she had earned the honor of being known as the first black woman in the United States uh, to graduate from a four year collegiate course. So now that's just one example, uh, but I, I do enjoy transcribathons. Um, I remember fondly participating in a transcribathon a few years ago on my campus that was organized by undergraduate students in Jessica Enoch's class. I'm excited about Douglas Day 2023 focused on Mary Chad Carey's papers. Uh, I plan to participate in an event that's being hosted by the Black Communication and Technology Lab on my campus. And I really hope that you too will find a way to participate.